Hello everyone, this is Dumpster Collector here with another action figure review and here I have the Power Rangers Lightning Collection uh, SPD Blue Ranger and the Squad Ranger. So here's the front for you. So you get the number two Power Ranger, the blue one. And then I remember he wanted to be the Red Ranger because his dad was one. And then you get the Squad Blue Ranger. So yeah. And then you get the top with the dark blue on the right side and a little bit of a lighter blue on the other and a white lightning bolt there. And then on the right side, you get that other half of the uh, Squad Ranger. On the other half, you get the other half of the uh, two Ranger. In the back, you get that cool display of the two fighting each other. And then here's the bottom with the UCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here they are at the packaging here. So first let's go over the accessories. So for the Squad Ranger, he comes with this cool little blaster here. You get the nice blue detailing. You get that SPD dog badge logo there. You get that cool magazine. It does not come off like the uh, like the uh, G.I. Joe uh, roadblock figures gun does, but I like this blaster a lot. It's really cool. And then he comes with two fisted hands. So yeah, there's those. And then he comes with this little neon yellow green uh, blast effect that comes through his blaster here. So it has that like little peg there. It has this little hole in there. And you just plug it in. Doesn't really get in there real well though. I wonder if, let me see here. There's no real good way to get in. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Kind of got in, but I feel like it's gonna fall off pretty easily. Yeah, with a little tap, it's gonna fall off. Um, and then you get this like little slash glass thing here with the orange translucent plastic. It's very soft, very flexible. I think this one's supposed to go on the Blue Rangers. I uh, think because of that little, I'm not sure if you guys can see it real well, but you get, there's like this little line here, but yeah. Uh, and then for Blue Ranger, it comes with this like little staff attachment here. I remember this. Um, you get that little blue detail, uh, gray. And yeah, it's like a little needle at the very end. So it's like a staff here. And then here you get this other little thing, same deal, shorter staff has that little arrow in it kind of so it kind of looks like an arrow for me and you get this like other attachment here where you put those two together to make a blaster so i think how it went was let's see here. i think you choose one yeah you choose one only so yeah this so it depends on what length you want in so here's the long one and then the short one Think you just plug it in like this so yeah that's what it looks like there and then you get two hands so this one looks like a clenching hand or about to like claw someone i guess and then here's like this loot hand kind of so yeah they're white and you get his extra head here i like the detailing here i don't remember what his face really looked like but i think this is what he kind of looked like if i remember correctly so yeah, really good detailing on the face. It looks real good. And then you get his like little uh, phone thing. I forget what, what they called this, but yeah. Uh, and you get the nice white detailing, get the red like sirens on the top here. You get that SPD logo there. I have one of these, but it's the one with the, I forgot what his name is, but it's the Power Ranger with the dog. He's like the commander. Uh, it's black and gold instead. So yeah, there's that. I loved these things when I was little. When I, was, I had an actual one. And then for the uh, Blue Ranger here, it's kind of like the red one. Um, so yeah, you get that like mouthpiece here, gray. Looks like he's kind of smiling. You get the little visors here, really shiny black. It's a really shiny helmet, I love it. You get that little red siren piece on the ears. You get more white detailing there. White outline around the visors, you get that uh, Power Ranger logo there with that dog badge thing that we saw on the gun earlier. Same logo on the shoulder here. You get that black sleeve, blue sleeve. You get the number two here. Really clean lines. White 
uh, outline around the two. And then you get this belt here that holds the stuff. So I think how it goes, it's supposed to be like, let's see here. So I don't really know how this is supposed to go. I think it's supposed to be, I'm gonna have to look at the thing here, actually. Let's see. I guess there's, oh yeah, never mind. One, the, one piece is supposed to be for his, I think his little thing here, this little walkie talkie. I'll probably have him hold it though, and the guns too, but yeah. And you get that little badge here for him, the SPD badge. And then you get that SPD uh, buckle there. You get the gray and black lines around the boots here. And then blue. But besides that, that's all we got for him. So let's go over his articulation. So first, his head can hinge down that far, up that far. He can look left and right. He has not a whole lot of head pivoting there. His shoulders can move only up that far down oh, just that far so the shoulders barely move up and down he does have a shoulder uh butterfly joint here his shoulders can do 360 rotation but it's a little tight uh, yeah it's not gonna be able to do that for right now but uh he has bicep swivels here double jointed elbows so way past 90 degrees his wrist can hinge side to side 360 rotation around there the other hands they go up and down the other hand, same deal, uh, side to side. Uh, he has a, a diaphragm joint at the top, so he can go forward that much with that, backwards that much. He can go side to side, 360 rotation around there. And then he has like an ab crunch at the hips, so he can go forward that far with all those going backwards, very far with that too. Um, his legs could kick out that far, forward, that far backwards a little bit he has a thigh cut double jointed knees uh boot cut here his ankles can hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot and for the squad ranger i don't remember seeing him in any of the shows that I watched with the spd i only had a few d discs with it uh so yeah you get that dog badge thing at the helmet here you get that shiny black here around the head you get that shiny visors, the white outline around there. You get this like gray looking pad on the helmet here. Kind of looks like vents here. And then a blue blue stripe down the, there. And then around the helmet there, you get that little white outline around the bottom towards there. You get that little mouthpiece that is gray. You get this like little hockey pads going here. They're soft plastic. So I think you guys could take them off if you want, but I'm not going to. But yeah, you get that A there, you get another A on there, you get that dog logo there. It's a little different. It's a triangle instead of like a badge look. Uh, you get blue details around there, the shoulder pads. You get more black details around the pads here. You get that blue line here, and yeah. And you get this little belt here with the SPD sign there. You get this like little shoulder pad here. So that's cool. You get that black detail there. I don't know what it says. Does it say something? I can't really see it. The same deal on the other side. You get the forearm pads there. Uh, you get that black wristband here with the gray outlines. You get the black gloves. Uh, you get knee pads that have the A there. You get shin guards here. Nice texturing here with the black. And yeah. Besides that, let's go over his articulation. So his head can move down that far, up that far, not a whole lot. Uh, you can look left and right, uh, not a whole, like zero head pivoting. His shoulders can go up pretty far, that's good. And then down that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Uh, he has butterfly joints that are really flexible and loose, so that's good. Uh, he has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, his wrist can move move up and down, just like that. 360 rotation around there. I think he has a diaphragm joint, so you can go forward that much with that, backwards that much. You can go side to side. 360 rotation around there. Uh, he has a like that ab joint, ab crunch joint at the hip here, so you can go forward that much with that. That 
pads kind of get in the way backwards that much, so that's good. His legs can kick out that far. That's really good. Forward that far. Backwards just a little bit. He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees. Come on. There we go. Like that. Uh, he has a shin cut here. His ankles can move down that much, up that much, and a nice ankle pivot. So both of them are really cool figures. I like the accessories that they gave us. I like the Blue Ranger, but I'm a little disappointed with the articulation because of the shoulders, really. And this one had a lot more articulation. Uh, I'm more of a fan of this look than that one. So I would thought I would have thought they would have done a little bit of a better job on that, but they did a way better job on the articulation for this. Besides that, that's really cool figures. I really hope they come out with the green and yellow rangers soon. I know that I have the white one. I want to get that one. Hopefully soon I can. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got.